men. <laughs> Behind the headlines, women make up 27% of the STEM or science, technology, engineering, and math workforce. African-American women represent fewer than 5% of that group. As part of our Black History Month coverage, we look at the lack of diversity in those industries. I had never seen a black female engineer until I was in graduate school. I went to the Nesby conference, and so if I saw a professional woman in a suit, I was just so happy. That was very important to me to know that at least they existed. Dr. Pamela McCauley was recently honored as Black Engineer of the Year. She's one of a handful of African-American women who are tenured engineering professors in the U.S. McCauley lectures at schools nationwide about overcoming obstacles. As a teen mom from a small town, she didn't let her circumstances destroy her dreams. We need to provide exposure for our children because even though I'd never seen a Black female engineer, something inside me made me believe that I could do it. One in seven engineers is a woman, according to a 2011 report by the U.S. Department of Commerce. Women hold less than 30 percent of computer science jobs. Researchers found that while some women associate careers in STEM with white males, others already established in the field leave partly due to hostile work environments and discrimination. We don't feel like it's a career for women. African-American women are two percent of the engineers today. Most disconcerting is when they leave the field because they may feel marginalized or don't feel like they really have the opportunities that some of their counterparts have. And I'm saying, don't go, don't go. I say, you survive rigid body mechanics, statics and dynamics, thermodynamics, calc one, two, and three. Where are you going? If you survive those things, it is possible to figure out how to manage and navigate through your career. Retention is not just an issue in the workplace. It's also a problem in schools. Macaulay suggests encouraging girls to take science and math classes at an early age. You'll see second and third grade girls running around saying they're going to be an astronaut and a doctor and do all these wonderful things. Oh, and by the way, I'm going to be Miss America, too. They have that very open and receptive mindset and are very uh, willing to consider the more technical and challenging professions. McCauley says in middle school, girls' perceptions change, and they may not see engineering and technical fields as good professions for them. Help them understand how relevant it is. I mean, the, the color of my lipstick, you know, the, the science went into this. I mean, the, the, the clothing that I wear, also the, the airplane that I flew in. I mean, there are so many relevant things that we do, and everywhere you look, you're touching something that's STEM-related. Connecting real-life experiences to STEM is only part of the solution. A pilot program is underway with the goal of creating more inclusive curriculae and helping faculty bond with minority women. Macaulay recommends training faculty how to address students who may be the only minority in the room. There is oftentimes inherent bias in our interaction and expectation associated with students who are females or those who are of color. It helps to have someone from the outside who's a STEM professional to come in and say to the student, hey, I went through the same thing. You're lucky you're here. At least there's three of you guys. I was the only one. Macaulay encourages mentorship but says young women should consider mentors who may not look like them. We need to understand that we should be comfortable in asking people uh, to mentor us if they're in the disciplines that we're interested in. And while it would be wonderful if you could have a black female, if you're a black female, to mentor you because she can help you understand certain things that you as only a black woman may experience, uh, it's important not to limit ourselves to that. Though the numbers are quite low, the number of women of color entering STEM fields is on the rise. Of the 30 fastest growing professions, 15 are STEM related. Uh, the salaries are very competitive. Uh, and there are opportunities for growth. And I'm hopeful that as we see more and more women of color and women and people of color in STEM professions, that you will start to see more of those glass ceilings broken.